Hey guys, what's up? So, today I thought I would make a wheelie tutorial video. For multiple reasons. One, um, the way I learned how to do it uh, was really, really easy and really safe. Uh, I was terrified of doing wheelies, and uh, the way that I learned how to do it was very uh, conducive to people who are complete wimps. So, um, not that I'm calling you a wimp, but uh, anyway. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it right off the bat, this tutorial is aimed at dirt bikes. Um, you can't really do this with a super sport. Um, the biggest reason for which is you need to do it off-road. Um, find a, preferably off-road, a slightly uphill gradient. I don't know if um, the camera can pick it up, but if, uh, you notice that's a hill. But if you notice, this is slightly uphill. Um, second reason for my making this video is uh, I kind of got busted by the cops. <laughs> um, people didn't take too kindly to me uh, exploring some of their fields, even though they were completely open and there were no gates. Um, and the, there was a police officer at my uh, at my door the other day. I said, "Hey, you know, you're not you're not in trouble. No one called the cops on you. It's just a friendly warning." Um, so yeah, I'm kind of busted like that. Third reason. I can't really go out on the roads um, for the second reason, and my little um, wind block on my mic inside my helmet fell off. Uh, I have no idea where it is, so I can't do high speed stuff. But you should be able to hear me pretty fine right now. So, um, I've already actually shot a wheelie video um, already, but uh, I, I tend to. Uh, hate the first take of everything that I do. So um, while the bike warms up, I'll uh, go through a little bit uh, how we're gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna take an MSF style approach to, um, to wheeling. I'm gonna pretend like you've never ever gotten the front wheel off the ground. Um, you don't even know how. If you do, uh, skip ahead a little bit in the video. I'm not clever enough with annotations to be able to say, click here and uh, you'll go to when I get into wheeling, but um, you'll just put up with me. All right. If you don't know, the way you get the wheel off the ground is you essentially rev the throttle while you pop the clutch in. It's a very smooth action. Um, I usually, I have a very sensitive throttle, like just a little will, will get their engine revving. If you have a very slow slop throttle response, it's gonna be really hard to wheelie. Um, but your bike, most dirt bikes I'm pretty sure have a fairly sensitive throttle, so anyway. You're clutching in. Um, clutch up wheelies are usually done in second gear. First gear is really, really twitchy. Although we're going to be doing first gear for this first little bit, and I'll explain. But anyway, as you come up, you just squeeze the clutch in just so that your clutch is disengaged. You blip the throttle as you release the clutch. Um, if you've ever spun your wheels in your car, it's the same principle. Um, you just blip. It's a very quick action. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you a very quick first gear blip a clutch up wheelie okay all right watch my hands if you can see them I'll see if I can get slightly downward on this so you can see oh spun the wheel I'm just spinning the wheel this might not work um, I'm gonna get rolling first a little bit see I got the mo wheel up holy crap <laughs> Fun times with Jackamoto falling off your bike. Anyway, that's how that's done. Um, if you're doing this in grass, try and do this on a on a dry day. Otherwise, you'll spin out like that, and your dad will kill you for ruining part of your yard. Anyway, so that's how you clutch up a wheelie. Um, there are many other video tutorials on how to actually get the wheel up. I highly recommend going and checking some of those out. Um, look for dirt bike ones. Um, although a lot of dirt bike ones will just say power wheelie. They'll just say, you know, yank back the throttle and the wheel will come up. And it will, but it's better to clutch up a wheelie. All right, so you have the wheel in the air. What do you do now? Well, I find the problem with a lot of videos is they say, well, you get the bike up to a certain point and you'll hit the balance point at which your, your engine's no longer working to get your bike up. You just hold it there, cover the back brake, so if your bike tips over back, you can, you can slightly press the tap, brake, tap the rear brake and your bike will come down. Well, sounds good, but it's really, really hard to do, especially if you've never done them before and you're completely chicken, uh, uh, like I am. So for now, we're going to completely, completely 
forget about the rear brake. Forget about it. Um, instead, we're gonna do first gear clutch up wheelies, um, but we're gonna have our, our legs dangling. You sit back on the seat, right around here. If you're riding your, around in the mid area, we're gonna be sitting back on the seat, you dangle your legs, and from a stop or a slight roll, you basically clutch up a wheelie. And what that does is, it'll get up to the balance point really quickly. Um, and you're just gonna want to try and get the wheel up and down for, at first, but eventually get to the point where you can find that balance point and hold it. If the bike goes too far, and it probably will, you're safe because you'll fall off the back of the bike and land straight on your legs. Whereas if you're going down the road at 15, 20 miles an hour trying to clutch a wheelie and you went too far, you're gonna end up on the pavement. So, don't worry about your bike. They're, they're, they're dirt bikes, they're built for this kind of stuff. Um, but do try and be careful. Um, when I did it, I almost went over the handlebars, oddly enough, because it came back down and I was like, Bleh. All right, so that's how we're gonna learn it. After you're comfortable finding the balance point and holding it for a little bit, um, you can then move to rear brake. So you're basically doing the same thing, but just dangling one leg and keep your, your other foot on the rear brake to, uh, to get used to that. I kind of skipped that step and moved straight to pavement um, for a, a very important reason. When you're doing very low speed wheelies, especially these kind of first gear clutch up from standing still or slightly rolling, your bike is gonna fall over to the side a lot, a lot. You need to be prepared for that, so be very careful. Um, it can be avoided if you just keep the bike steady or start at a slight roll but your bike is going to tip over. When you're out on the road and you're doing second gear clutch ups at like 15 miles an hour, it's almost a non-factor. Um, so this is, uh, I'm just letting you know that the bike is much more unstable at low speed than at high speed, but this way you can, you can get to finding the balance point and get used to having the front wheel up um, much safer. All right, I rambled on long enough. Let's get to it. Hopefully I can uh, do some of this with my very balding tire and my, uh, my very wet yard that I'm confined to like a dog. All right, so I would normally sit about here on the bike when I'm riding, like that. We're gonna scoot back, like almost to the complete back, so you have most of the seat in front of you. You're dangling your legs off, you're not putting anything up on the pegs. And you're gonna need to be in gear. <laughs> All right, so it should look something like this, hopefully. Alright, I was almost to the balance point there. Kind of kept it up with the throttle a little bit. If you're keeping the wheel up with the throttle, you're going to run out of gear really quick. So just be aware of that. Alright, let's do it again. I'm going to do it from a stop or a slight roll. See? This will get easier as you go along. It's going to be very, very daunting at first, but don't be discouraged. And you're going to do a lot of running back and forth. Again, don't be discouraged. I'm going to try this one more time. All right, I'm kind of off balance. Here we go. See, there you go. And my feet are dangling the entire time. I'm going to switch to a shot of my uh, swing arm real quick so that you can hopefully see my legs dangling. Although my legs might be by the camera, but you'll see the, the bike doing its thing. Alrighty, and we're back. I hope that uh, that angle showed you kind of what's happening. It, it'll look like a normal wheelie, but my leg's gonna, not going to be on the peg at all. You just keep your legs dangling and chase your little sister. Ah! <laughs> all right, and that's basically it, guys. Um, I can't really show you any more. Uh, out here, all, he, all, uh, all I can really show you is the clutch-up wheelie um, in first gear out on a field. 
once you get to the point where you can balance that bike and you're very comfortable with it, move out to the road. Um, clutch up gear wheelies in second gear are very the same. You go to a roll in second gear and low RPMs, you just blip the throttle, um, play with it, and uh, most importantly, be safe because you know wheelies are not, you know, completely safe. A completely safe activity to do on your bike. Um, it's very important that you stay safe and and do it safely. Uh, this technique is much safer in my opinion because if you do fall off, and I did like a couple times, it's like it's nothing. I mean, you land on your feet, you might fall down, but you're not going to be hurt. Your bike will probably fall down and maybe roll a little bit and plop down. But these things are made to are made to handle that kind of stuff. So I hope this uh, uh, I hope this helps out with you guys as wheelies if you are looking into getting getting into those. And uh, I will see you later. Bye.